What's going on everyone? Jason here and today I have a really cool oral surgery slash endo case for you. Now I'm just going to tell you right now this is not your typical endodontic therapy. You're going to want to check this out. Let's do this. So we have a 27 year old patient who presents with uh, lower anterior swelling. When you look at the radiograph you can see that uh, he has uh, number 23, is, has the uh, radiograph appearance of dens and dente and it's been previously treated but it's just not working because all around the tooth within the tooth is what amounts to untreated canal space. It's virtually impossible to clean out through conventional endodontics. So what we decided to do was actually to do intentional replantation, which is where you remove the tooth and prepare it surgically uh, in the hand and debride all the internal as much as you can and then retrofill it with uh, MTA, mineral trioxide aggregate. Put it back in, you splint it, and uh, these things are actually fairly successful. I mean, somewhere between 80 and 90% according to who you read. When this thing tightens up, what we plan on doing is actually going here through the coronal portion and removing as much as we can with a, like a large round burr and a crown prep burr. And then we're going to place a couple fiber posts ap um, through the top. Now the, the main concern here is probably actually fracturing the tooth while you're extracting it. Before we do this, it's critical that this be done efficiently while the tooth's out the mouth. Because this has to be done, tooth out of the mouth and tooth back in in six minutes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to read through each step and we're going to make sure that everybody uh, knows what's going to, what they're supposed to be doing and has the stuff to do it. Everything proceeding up to the tooth, it's about ready to come out of the mouth. That's going to be the critical point. Okay. So Dr. Balkum, when you can feel the PDL break and you know that this tooth extraction is imminent, I don't want you to pull the tooth yet. You just tell me, so we say, all right, tooth's about to come out. When that happens, you need to go ahead and start mixing MTA. You're going to extract the tooth and onto the table, and before you're not going to put it on the table, but you're going to wrap it in sterile saline. Correct. Okay. Once it's wrapped in sterile saline, you're going to bring it over and put it right here. And then I will pick up this with surgical gloves and the high speed with the 856 burr, and I'm going to do the retro prep. So once the retro prep is done and the MTA is inside the tooth and we've rinsed it and we've cleaned it off, then I'm going to place the tooth back into the socket. Mm -hmm. All right. At that point in time, uh, the tooth will then be splinted mm -hmm. by yourself. Okay. But from out of the tooth back in, that has to happen in six minutes. 